Okay, that was hilarious. I just started a live video, so I don't know if you caught any of it. And then I had it on Do Not Disturb, but then one of my Marco Polo notifications come in and I clicked it and then Marco Polo started playing. My friend Carrie was talking. So sorry if you saw that. But anyway, so I want to start over. I am Karen and uh, of KWS Vocal Studio, do, um, do lots of online uh, vocal instruction and, and vocal private lessons. So a welcome if you are new to me. And on Wednesdays, I do hump day hints. So this hint is a little bit different. And that, by the way, I'm sitting on my porch because it's such a gorgeous day here uh, outside of Atlanta. Um, if you are cold and in the snow, I hope you can find some sunshine somehow um, because we are, we are really enjoying this weather right now. But today I'm going to talk about just finding new material. A lot of, of my students ask me how I find new material. Um, and I'm just going to give you kind of one of the ways that I do it. And you may have thought of it before, but it might be new. So hopefully I can give you a new idea or this can maybe spur other new ideas for you. Um, I do look for a lot of musical theater songs um, or even standards. You know, you can turn a lot of musical theater songs kind of into, into standards. Those are sort of interchangeable. Um, but then, uh, so I'm going to uh, show you a couple tips specifically for that. And then I have a student I was just fishing around who does some bluegrass and some country. And so I'm going to show you a little, uh, just show you kind of a process that I went through for that. And I'm going to fumble a little bit because I'm going to do a screen share, which I don't typically do on these, but I'm going to try it out. So first things first, I'm going to show you a little clip, uh, another clip from an interview that I did with Kurt von Schmidt, where we talked about just that sort of a, kind of a creative way to find new material, audition material or showcase material. Um, so just watch this video. And uh, this is from uh, Sing Me Your Story episode, I don't know, four, three? I can't remember, I get them mixed up. But if you, if you want to watch the whole interview, uh, go to my YouTube channel, uh, Sing Me Your Story. I think it's just YouTube channel, um, KWS Vocal Studio, but I'll put a link to it. But in the meantime, watch this clip and get some good ideas. So, and who knows, that really bad show usually has one good song, yeah, at least. Enough that some regional theater is going to want to pick yeah. it up and well, do it. And either you, that if you're, if you're or, a or like, look, look for those shows, going back to auditions, oh, yeah. look for those shows that did not last long because there's some, still some good music. Look, there's good music the in Carrie, it. the musical that lasted for like a week in, in New York that Betty Buckley was in. You know, oh it's like, gosh. come on. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, there, yeah, there are random yeah. shows. One of my favorite shows that didn't, I don't think got, uh, well, I'm going to forget the best uh, uh, title of show. Mm -mm. Do you know that? Mm -mm. You guys can find the music to title of show. It is brilliant. Wow. It is okay. one of my favorite shows that, I don't know, it was done because they somebody was trying to submit for a Fringe Festival uh -huh. and they needed to write a show. And oh. on the blank, on the form, it said title of show. Oh, how and funny. so yeah. then all of a sudden the whole thing becomes about the creative process of writing a show mm -hmm. and at one point the guys I'm a blank piece of paper you know and it's <laughs> like this whole it is the best most truthful telling show that I've ever seen about what it means to be creative and try to write something that is going to get judged by people you oh know my gosh and judged yeah, judge, and judge. yeah. that's awesome continually a small a small audience yeah. I can see that but yeah, the title of show scenario. if you can find that music that's a that's a good one to draw from for songs that aren't heard much yeah and, yeah yeah, yeah yeah get out there and just poke around so that's one way um and I even googled earlier uh, shows that closed within a week or two weeks or something, you know, on Broadway. Um, look for uh, shows from off Broadway. You know, you can always stick with the shows that everyone knows. There's great material, obviously, there. But just because a show didn't make it um, on Broadway does not mean that it has bad material. A lot of times you can find really good songs. Um, and they may or may not be right for an audition. Some people think you shouldn't do uh, songs that nobody knows at auditions, but um, a lot of these show, a lot of these songs from these lesser known shows do get around. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But anyway, that's one way. And then let me show you, um, this is 
this is the first way that I go uh, hunting for musical theater stuff. Um, now I'm going to hit share screen here and uh, I go to, there's my Facebook page. So I am, so I, uh, well the first, let me just type this in. So let's say, let's say that Wicked <laughs> is the only show that I know, right? Um, the only show that I've ever seen is Wicked, and I love it. I'm going to put Wicked, and I love Elphaba. So say, I typically sing her, like, uh, I, I can sing, uh, her, I can sing songs, you know, that Elphaba would do. I, you know, that's who I identify with in the show. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of scroll through and look, um, look for other people, like, we all know Adina, right? But other people who have played Alphaba. And then, just because I know it, I'm going to type in Lindsay Mendez because I love Lindsay Mendez. I'm going to fish around a little bit uh, um, just on Lindsay Mendez. And then I'm going to look here and I'm going to be like, oh, okay, she did a cabaret show. Imagine for a second. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's the, that's typically what I do is I will find cast members and then I will see if they did a cabaret show and then I just type in their name in cabaret and then it pulls up all these amazing songs that they may have done at a cabaret show and then you can just chase rabbits you know you can click on 54 below which is a huge cabaret house in new york you can you can uh, find um here you can find um different composers um you can find like a lot of times uh, like she has a couple of duets and so then I find who she did a duet with and I'll go, I'll type in her name up here and I'll type in what shows did she do? Um, you know, what shows did Betsy Wolf do? Um, Betsy Wolf Cabaret. You know, I just, so what I do first is I'll type in a sh show. Like say you don't even know any, any um, performers. I type in, uh, what did I do? The name of a show and the, uh, the character in the show that I identify with and I'll find people that have played her and then I type in that name find out other shows she's done find out um, my favorite uh, cabaret shows she's done or cabaret songs and look at all this stuff from there you can find different composers lesser known composers cabaret songs I believe are a great place to find uh, material, new material. Um, so anyway, that is, that's one way kind of specifically for musical theater. But then um, I was also thinking about one of my students the other day who wants to do, uh, she's just kind of fallen into this little bit of bluegrass, a little bit of country, kind of hybrid sound that really, really works for her. And again, that's not necessarily my world. So the first thing I did, let me hop back on here. The first thing I did was type in, I know Bluebird Cafe in Nashville. So I typed that in. First thing that came, came up was a Taylor Swift video. And this is about, uh, gotta skip these ads. So this was about when she went back to Bluebird. In 2004, the first time I ever was, met Taylor Swift uh, was November 2nd. She said, hey, why you don't know, you come and see me? I didn't know that, that she started her career at the Bluebird Cafe. She invited, you know, there, there's her whole story. But the guy right in front of me was sitting literally right in front of me watch a little bit of it 13 years ago and gave me a record deal. When I first so, moved to Nashville, and even before that, I would come here and I would think that this was such a rare opportunity to see people who have written these songs in rooms up and down Music Row. But when I would play Writer's Nights in the Round... So that's what I was listening for. I heard her say Writer's Night in the Round, and so then I was like, oh. So then I type in... Writer's Night 
Bluebird Cafe and boom. Now it's not to say that you can just like, just like, you know, snatch up anything, anything here by these songwriters. However, what I, what I did from there is I found, I found other artists who have recorded things by these lesser known songwriters. I mean, you could always just reach out to these songwriters as well, but just a ton of material and names of new compos composers and new writers and new and new artists. Um, yeah, and I that that was the first time I did that was just today. I was like, I don't I don't really know the world in Nashville, and so I just started kind of clicking around, and so so that's kind of how I tend to do it is. Um, I'll find either an artist or a composer or a show and then I then I then I kind of chase rabbits from there you know what I mean so that's just that's just one of the ways that you can find new material and um, again sorry if you've already if you've already figured that one out um, if you have a creative way to find new material please comment below, let me know, share it with uh, anyone who's who's on the Facebook page because a lot of people, they just kind of, they get stumped and then they just kind of stick with all their old material or they wait for me to find them something new. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that's, it's a little bit of a different hump day hint today, but um, I thought it's valuable because a lot, a lot, a lot of people ask me, hey, what's, um, can you help me find some new songs? Can you help me find some new audition material? So there you have it. Um, on Friday, look out for Feel Good Friday Flicks. I'm going to be talking about yet another one of my personal stories. And this is a story of an audition that I went to where I crashed and burned. So you won't want to miss that. <laughs> All right. So again, I hope you guys have a little sunshine today. Find a little sunshine if it's still rainy and cold and gray where you are. But have fun this week, maybe looking for some new material. I encourage you to do that, okay? Thanks. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me on Hump Day Hints. All right, bye.